Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mastering English, The Journey. I'm Adam, and joining me today, as always, is the ever-insightful Julia. Hey, Julia. Hi, Adam, and a warm welcome to all our listeners. We're so excited about today's episode because we're diving into a topic that has the potential to change your life in profound ways. That's right. Today we're talking about life-changing skills, particularly for English learners. Absolutely, Julia. Life-changing skills aren't just about learning new things. They're about transforming the way you live, think, and interact with the world. As English learners, these skills can be even more impactful because they empower you to not only master a new language, but also to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and confidence. Exactly, Adam. We're going to explore a range of skills that can help you improve your life in multiple areas, whether it's in your career, personal relationships, or even your self-growth journey. And the best part? You can start applying these skills right away as you continue learning English. So, grab your notebook, settle in, and let's get started on this life-changing journey. By the end of this episode... We hope you'll walk away with actionable strategies that you can implement in your daily life to not only improve your English, but also enhance your overall quality of life. Let's dive in, Adam. What's the first life-changing skill we're going to discuss? One of the most important life-changing skills, especially for English learners, is effective communication. Communication is the key to unlocking doors in both your personal and professional life. Whether you're trying to make a good impression in a job interview, resolve a conflict, or simply express your thoughts and ideas, effective communication is crucial. That's so true, Adam. And when we talk about communication, it's not just about speaking clearly or using the right words. It's about being able to convey your message in a way that resonates with others. It's about listening, understanding nonverbal cues, and being mindful of the cultural differences that may influence how your message is received. Exactly, Julia. Let's break this down a bit more. First, we have verbal communication. This includes everything from the words you choose to the tone and pace of your speech. Then, there's nonverbal communication. This includes body language, eye contact, facial expressions, and even the way you position yourself during a conversation. For English learners, developing effective communication skills involves a few key steps. First, you need to build a strong vocabulary so you can express yourself more accurately. But it's not just about knowing a lot of words. It's about using the right words in the right context. That's right. And context is so important because the same word or phrase can mean different things depending on the situation. For example, the word fine can mean that something is okay, but in a different tone or context, it can imply the opposite. This is why practicing communication in real-life situations is so valuable. And let's not forget the importance of listening skills. Being a good communicator isn't just about speaking well. It's also about being an active listener. This means paying attention to what the other person is saying, asking clarifying questions, and showing empathy. Exactly. And as you improve your English, you'll find that your ability to communicate effectively will naturally improve as well. But it's important to be intentional about it. Practice speaking with others, whether in person or online, and pay attention to how you come across. Are you being clear? Are you listening actively? These are the questions you should keep in mind. One exercise we recommend is recording yourself having a conversation or even giving a short speech. Listen to the recording and take note of areas where you can improve. Maybe you're speaking too fast, or you're using filler words like um and uh, too often. This kind of self-assessment can be incredibly valuable. And don't be afraid to ask for feedback from others. Whether it's a teacher, a friend, or even a language exchange partner, getting an outside perspective can help you identify areas where you can improve. Remember... Communication is a skill, and like any skill, it gets better with practice. That's great advice, Adam. So, to sum up this segment, effective communication is about much more than just speaking English. It's about conveying your thoughts clearly, understanding others, and being mindful of both verbal and nonverbal cues. 
Improving your communication skills can open up so many opportunities in your life, both personally and professionally. Absolutely. So, take the time to practice, be patient with yourself, and remember that every conversation is an opportunity to improve. Up next, we're going to talk about another life-changing skill that's crucial for success, time management. Time management is one of those skills that can truly change your life. How you manage your time can determine whether you achieve your goals or not. For English learners, time management is particularly important because you're balancing learning a new language with all your other responsibilities, whether it's work, school, or family life. That's right, Julia. Time management isn't just about creating a schedule and sticking to it. It's about prioritizing your tasks, setting realistic goals, and making sure you're using your time efficiently. For English learners, this might mean setting aside specific times each day to practice, whether it's listening to podcasts, reading in English, or practicing speaking. And it's not just about the amount of time you spend practicing; it's about the quality of that time. Are you fully focused and engaged during your study sessions, or are you distracted by other things? This is where time management really comes into play. Let's talk about some strategies for effective time management. One of the most popular methods is the Pomodoro technique. This involves working in short, focused bursts, typically 25 minutes, followed by a short break. After four of these sessions, you take a longer break. This method helps you stay focused and prevents burnout. Another great strategy is time blocking. This involves setting specific blocks of time for different activities throughout your day. For example. You might block out one hour in the morning for studying English, another hour in the afternoon for work, and so on. By assigning a specific time to each task, you can ensure that you're making progress on all fronts. And don't forget about the importance of setting goals. When you have clear, specific goals, it's easier to manage your time effectively because you know exactly what you're working towards. Whether it's improving your speaking skills, passing an English exam. Or simply feeling more confident in conversations, having a goal will keep you motivated and focused. Absolutely, Adam. And it's also important to be realistic about your goals and the time you have available. If you're working full time and taking care of a family, you might not have hours and hours to dedicate to learning English each day, and that's okay. The key is to make the most of the time you do have. Another aspect of time management that's often overlooked is the importance of rest. And relaxation. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that you need to be constantly working or studying, but the truth is that taking breaks is essential for maintaining your productivity and avoiding burnout. So true, Adam. Taking time to rest and recharge isn't a waste of time. It's an investment in your well-being and your ability to keep going in the long run. Whether it's going for a walk, spending time with loved ones, or simply relaxing with a good book. Whether it's in your career, personal life, or just the way you approach everyday situations, we'll cover everything from communication and time management to emotional intelligence and adaptability. Each of these skills is essential not just for learning English, but for thriving in today's fast-paced, globalized world. That's right. And what's really exciting is that these skills aren't just theoretical concepts. They're practical, actionable strategies that you can start applying in your life today. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced English learner, these skills will help you take your language learning and your life to the next level. So grab your notebook, settle in, and let's get started on this journey to mastering some truly life-changing skills. Let's kick things off with communication skills, one of the most important and transformative skills you can develop as an English learner. Communication is at the heart of everything we do, whether it's in our personal relationships, our professional lives, or even when we're just trying to navigate a new culture. Exactly, Adam. Communication skills go beyond just speaking clearly and understanding others. It's about being able to express your thoughts, emotions, and ideas in a way that others can understand and connect with. And when you're learning a new language like English, this becomes even more critical. So true. One of the biggest challenges English learners face is the fear of making mistakes. It's natural to feel nervous about speaking a new language, 
especially if you're worried about being misunderstood or judged. But here's the thing. Effective communication isn't about being perfect. It's about being clear, confident, and engaging. Absolutely. And one of the best ways to build confidence in your communication skills is to practice. Practice, practice. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Every mistake is an opportunity to learn and improve. Whether you're speaking with native speakers, participating in language exchange programs, or just practicing on your own, the key is to keep at it. Let's talk about some practical tips for improving your communication skills in English. First and foremost, focus on clarity. This means choosing your words carefully and structuring your sentences in a way that's easy for others to understand. It also means paying attention to your pronunciation and intonation. That's a great point, Adam. Another important aspect of communication is active listening. It's not just about speaking. It's about really hearing and understanding what the other person is saying. This involves not only listening to the words, but also paying attention to body language, tone of voice, and context. Exactly. Active listening helps you respond more effectively and appropriately in conversations. It also shows the person you're speaking with that you respect their opinions and are genuinely interested in what they have to say. This can go a long way in building trust and rapport, whether you're at work, at home, or in a social setting. And let's not forget about nonverbal communication. Things like eye contact, facial expressions, and gestures play a huge role in how your message is received. In fact, studies show that a significant portion of communication is nonverbal. So even if your English isn't perfect, you can still convey your message effectively through your body language. That's so true, Julia. Now, let's give our listeners some actionable steps they can take to improve their communication skills. First, start small. Focus on short, simple conversations where you can practice basic phrases and vocabulary. As you build confidence, gradually increase the complexity of your conversations. Yes, and don't forget to use the power of repetition. Repeating phrases, sentences, and dialogues helps reinforce what you've learned and makes it easier to recall when you need it. It's also helpful to record yourself speaking and then listen to the playback. This allows you to hear your pronunciation and identify areas where you can improve. Another great tip is to immerse yourself in the language as much as possible. Surround yourself with English. Watch English movies, listen to English podcasts, read English books, and most importantly, interact with English speakers. The more you expose yourself to the language, the more natural it will become. And lastly, be patient with yourself. Learning a new language is a journey, and improving your communication skills takes time. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and keep pushing yourself to reach new milestones. Well said, Julia. Communication skills are truly life changing because they open up so many doors, both personally and professionally. When you can communicate effectively in English, you can connect with people from all over the world, share your ideas, and make a positive impact in your community. Absolutely, Adam. And with that, let's move on to our next life changing skill time management. Time management is one of those skills that can completely transform your life. It's about making the most of the time you have, prioritizing tasks, and staying organized. As an English learner, good time management can help you balance your language studies with your other responsibilities, making it easier to achieve your goals. That's right, Adam. Time management isn't just about being busy, it's about being productive. It's about finding that sweet spot where you're making steady progress without feeling overwhelmed. And the good news is, time management is a skill that anyone can learn and improve with practice. So, let's talk about some strategies that can help our listeners manage their time more effectively. One of the most important things you can do is set clear, achievable goals. Whether it's learning a new set of vocabulary, completing a language course, or practicing speaking with a friend, having specific goals gives you direction and motivation. Exactly. And once you have your goals in place, the next step is to break them down into smaller, manageable tasks. For example, if your goal is to improve your speaking skills, you might set aside 15 minutes each day to practice speaking out loud. 
Breaking your goals into smaller tasks makes them less daunting and easier to accomplish. Another key aspect of time management is prioritization. Not all tasks are created equal, and it's important to focus on the ones that will have the biggest impact on your progress. For example, if you're short on time, you might prioritize speaking practice over reading, since speaking is often more challenging for English learners. That's a great point, Adam. And to help you stay on track. It's helpful to create a daily or weekly schedule. Write down your tasks, allocate time for each one, and stick to your plan as much as possible. Of course, life can be unpredictable, so it's important to be flexible and adjust your schedule as needed. Another effective time management technique is the Pomodoro technique. This involves working in short bursts, typically 25 minutes, followed by a short break. This method helps you stay focused and productive while preventing burnout. It's especially useful for language learners, as it allows you to concentrate fully on a specific task, like studying grammar or practicing listening. And let's not forget about the importance of self-discipline. Time management is about making choices and sometimes saying no to distractions. This might mean limiting your time on social media, turning off notifications, or finding a quiet place to study. The more disciplined you are, the more productive you'll be. Another effective time management technique is the Pomodoro technique. This involves working in short bursts, typically 25 minutes, followed by a short break. This method helps you stay focused and productive while preventing burnout. It's especially useful for language learners, as it allows you to concentrate fully on a specific task, like studying grammar or practicing listening. And let's not forget about the importance of self-discipline. Time management is about making choices and sometimes saying no to distractions. This might mean limiting your time on social media, turning off notifications, or finding a quiet place to study. The more disciplined you are, the more productive you'll be. Absolutely, Julia. And speaking of productivity, it's also important to remember to take care of yourself. This means getting enough sleep, eating well. And taking breaks when needed. After all, you can't be productive if you're exhausted or stressed out. That's so true, Adam. Self-care is an essential part of time management. It's about finding a balance between working hard and giving yourself the rest and relaxation you need to recharge. When you take care of yourself, you're in a better position to manage your time effectively and achieve your goals. Well said, Julia. Time management. Is indeed a life-changing skill because it empowers you to take control of your life and make the most of every moment. When you manage your time well, you can accomplish more, reduce stress, and enjoy a greater sense of fulfillment. Exactly, Adam. And with that, let's move on to our next topic: emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, or EQ, is another life-changing skill that can make a huge difference in your life. It's the ability to recognize, understand, and manage your own emotions, as well as the emotions of others. In a world where we're constantly interacting with people from different backgrounds and cultures, emotional intelligence is more important than ever. That's right, Julia. Emotional intelligence isn't just about being nice or empathetic; it's about being aware of how emotions influence our thoughts and actions. It's about being able to navigate social situations with sensitivity and understanding, which is especially important when learning a new language like English. Whether it's in your career, personal life, or just the way you approach everyday situations, we'll cover everything from communication and time management to emotional intelligence and adaptability. Each of these skills is essential not just for learning English, but for thriving in today's fast-paced, globalized world. That's right, and what's really exciting is that these skills aren't just theoretical concepts; they're practical, actionable strategies that you can start applying in your life today. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced English learner, these skills will help you take your language learning and your life to the next level. So grab your notebook, settle in, and let's get started on this journey to mastering some truly life-changing skills.